What's up, guys? Nice to see you again. This is Jason. We're going to talk about call controls in this video. This is indeed the core feature of any telephone system. With the S-Series PBX call control, we can actually make rules for the PBX to manage incoming and outgoing calls. Once it has been configured, the system will function accordingly, and you can have your telephone system running as you wish. Sounds pretty cool, right? Alright, now let's just get started and see how can we make it. Firstly, let's set our inbound call control. Open up settings. We can find call control in PBX category. Get into this menu, click on add. We can start to create a new inbound call row. First, just name this row to help us identify it. Please note that only letters and numbers are allowed in the name. Characters and the space are not permitted. After that, we can go choose which trunk are we going to configure in this row. With the selection of trunk, calls received from this trunk will be managed according to the row. Then, we will be selecting a destination for incoming calls. As you can see here, we offer a lot of options, including certain extension, extension range, IVR, queue, voicemail, conference, and so on. Here we will choose IVR, Interactive Voice Response, aka Auto Attendance, since it's the most common choice. Please check the next video for detailed information on IVR setup. We've finished a very simple inbound call route just now. According to the rule, all calls received by the trunk digit 2 E1 will be sent directly to the IVR. Besides, we could also import a template so that multiple inbound roads will be created once for all. Click on Import, download the template. The rest of works are just blanks filling and uploading. Then, we will have all these roads activated on the PBX. However, the configuration settings as simple as this will not suffice in many cases. There are more features can realize more advanced controls. Basically, we can choose a multiple trunks. In other words, if we have several trunks that serve the same purpose, we can actually have them all selected in one row instead of creating one row for each trunk. Other than select multiple trunks, you can select multiple destinations either. This works specifically when you want to set different destinations for calls made to your system during the different period of time. For example, you might have calls sent to the IVR during business hours, but if it's the call is made out of the business hour, when nobody is in the office to receive it, generally, you would like to politely drop it to the voicemail. To achieve that, we will need a time condition. It can be found in the call control page as well. The time condition is basically a timetable set in your PBX. Your inbound call control can function correspondingly. Here you can add multiple periods of time in every single time condition. Now, let's just take eStar as an example. We work during 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So, we can set our work time schedule this way and uh, select all weekdays. Don't forget to name this time condition. By the way, we have a lunch break from 12 a.m. to 1 p.m., during which nobody will be in the office. So, we're supposed to create another time condition for the lunch break and choose all weekdays either as shown here. We also have advanced through which you can include specific days of the year in time condition. This will be very helpful when you set special days, like New Year or other important days, during which you want to set special destination for incoming calls. Now, let's back to our inbound call control to set our destination. Let's choose work time as the spearhead. Set IVR as the corresponding destination, and then we add another destination. Choosing lunch break. Set it from 12 a.m. to 1 p.m. Here's a point we must be very careful. The system will automatically match with the first time condition in the list as the prior. So we have to switch the lunch break to the top of the list manually. Otherwise, the system will always go through work time inbound call route, ignoring the lunch break. 
As you probably already noticed that there is a feature code behind each time condition. This feature code can only be dialed by authorized extension. The system will switch the destination to the corresponding setting regardless of what time is it in reality, if the feature code is activated. For an example, your extension has been authorized now, and you can dial the feature code of the lunch break as the race 801, 10 a.m. in the morning. And then, all calls will be transferred to the voicemail even if it is actually in normal work hours. You can also switch it back to normal by dialing this feature code. Every single time condition in inbound call road has the, the unique individual call feature code. You can just go visit the web GUI to check it out. You can also set caller ID patterns. With this pattern, only calls made by the caller whose caller ID match with the pattern here will be handled by this rule. If you want to use this function, you will need to make sure that the selected trunks do come with the caller ID function. If you didn't purchase the caller ID function for this trunk, this feature will not be available. By the way, you can leave it in blank if you don't want to use this feature. And the DID pattern is available. If you have obtained DID service from the service provider, you can assign a destination to your DID number here. We will be on this topic in our following videos. We also support distinctive ringtone for the specific inbound row. But please mind that this ringtone is not decided by the PBX. The PBX only apply the assigned ringtone in each individual IP phone. You will need to check with your phone provider to figure out what ringtone is embedded and their name. All you need to do is put in the name of the ringtone file here. When a call was sent through this inbound route, the system will have the phone ringing correspondingly. Then we have fax detection. By enabling this feature, the PBX will automatically detect every call from outside to see whether it's a fax or a normal phone call. Normal phone calls will go through normal destination following the rules set above. On the other hand, fax will be sent to the exact destination. You can assign your fax machine directly, or you can also enable fax to email feature. This feature will make sure that the assigned mailbox of the configured extension will receive an email from the PBX. And the fax will be converted to a TIFF picture and sent along as an attachment. Now we've finished all settings for an inbound call. Click Save. You will see this rule in the inbound call routes list. You can create multiple inbound routes. They will all be shown on this list. The S-Series PBX system will always match inbound road from the top to the bottom, which means you can adjust the priority here by changing the order. OK guys, that's all for the inbound call settings. Now your system can receive phone calls, but we still have much to discuss regarding the call control. So don't miss our next video, and don't forget to subscribe. Same as Euro, please follow us on Facebook and Twitter. You won't miss our updates anymore. And, and, to know more about eStar Academy Certified Tests, please click the bottom link. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.